Well, hello everybody. Now, this is going to be an interesting video because a whole bunch of stuff has happened that I'd like to discuss personally with you as opposed to just talking about it in the gameplay Let's Play video. So yeah, as you can see, it's been a while since I've done one of these sit-down videos where I just sit down and talk to the fans directly. But this is a different sit-down video, as if you couldn't tell already. Because I'm in the standard Let's Play face cam thing, but I'm not in full view. Now, there is a reason for that, but... Because I want to go over some things with the channel directly, and... What better way to show you than to show you, you know, rather than talk about it, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, I'm very fucking up this thing. Okay, so, yeah. We did reach an important milestone on the channel. Which, I promised somebody who subscribed to me that I would do one of these sit-down videos once we hit it. So, let's see if we go... As you can see, we're on the YouTube homepage. So, let's go to... It's YouTube Studio. Alright, this is my actual dashboard, by the way. Nothing is doctored or edited in any way. This is my actual... YouTube Studio dashboard. Alright, so... For that for I actually can't view it here. Let's go with the... Shit. I'm messing up this thing so bad, aren't I? Well, here's my main channel, as you can see. And the thing I wanted to celebrate was... Look at that. We crossed 100,000 views as of today. Yes, I do realize that's not a huge amount compared to some of the big YouTubers. In fact, PewDiePie probably gets this amount in two minutes of uploading a video. But I'm not him. I'm me. And to me... For me to cross six-digit views, is I feel it's very important. Because, again, I've been doing this for three years. I started in November 2016, and we finally crossed 100,000 views. So I think that's a very important thing to celebrate. <laughs> right, so... Yes. I do realize that a lot of my videos, even the earliest posted ones, are not back in 2016. Just a little history. I started back in 2016 on Twitch. Of course, I wasn't sure if I would really want to do this as a hobby. So, to do it on Twitch through the app, on both PS4 and Xbox One, was free. So, yeah, I just tried it. Stayed there for a few months. And then I figured, eh, this isn't really for me. I'm not really a fan of the life aspect, so I bought some recording equipment. And I started recording. Right? Well, I recorded a batch of videos, and then, to my horror, after I recorded, like, a few a bunch of them, I realized there was a terrible echo effect with the characters. Not so much my voice, but the in-game characters. Whenever they would speak audibly, it would echo, like, double its size. Like, if the... How do I explain this? Um, If, like, if someone were to say, there's a man over there, it would sound like, there, there's a man, man and over there, there, there. It was terrible. It was it, all my videos were completely unwatchable, so I had to ditch them, which is really sucky because I did a lot of stuff back then. And then I recorded a new batch of stuff, and then I, I I've been active on social media, and a lot of people said that oh I won't watch your videos because they're too long, or I won't even click on a video this long. So I figured all right, let's take everything down and try editing them into twenty minute segments. I was in the process of doing that. But then, I got feedback from the fans directly, the subs directly, who said, No, 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 you shouldn't have done that. It's unnecessary. It was fine the way it was. So, lo and behold, by taking everything off the channel, I lost all my views, my dates posted, and the watch time, and my rankings. I'm a big fucking idiot. What can I say? So, yeah, I reposted everything, I believe, I believe around 2018, and we've been going steady ever since. In case you're wondering why it says I've joined 2016, nothing is reposted really back then. Also, on their side note, I never saved any of my Twitch recordings. Which is really bad, because I did do several games blind there, including Digimon World Next Order, Resident Evil 7, and The Last of Us. Remastered. I played those blind, and I didn't save any of that goddamn footage, because, again, I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> I mean, I ended up replaying all three of them anyway, but it's the blind aspect that really catches those, the attention of those games, you know? And to play them knowing that I know all the plot details and everything, it's just really sucky. I, I'm very sorry about that. Alright, so anyway, that's why I'm starting this video, because we did cross 100,000 views. Another thing the sub requested is that I go over some of my analytics. Because you guys have never seen my analytics. 
I never showed them to you. So let's see if we can go through that right now. All right, so here we are. Okay, let's talk about monetization first. Obviously, I'm not monetized because I don't know if you guys know this, but the standards to monetize now are 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time for the past 12 months, which is quite insane for a small channel to achieve. Well, as you can see, I'm at 439 at the moment, which is my highest I've ever been. Thank you all for subbing recently. In fact, I got roughly 25 subscribers in the past month, which is pretty amazing. And But the watch hours, this is what really weird. The watch hours I already have well over that. In the 4,000, I have 5,853. That's pretty incredible. But I'm just not near that sub requirement, though. I don't know what I can make do to make people sub. I'm not going to force people to sub. I'm not going to tell people to sub. Because our people have said, like, oh, call to action. If you tell people to sub, they'll sub. If you tell people to like, they'll like. I'm like, no. When I see that our people do that, it turns me off from ever subbing or liking, as a matter of fact. Now, I've seen people, like, not so much gaming videos, but other people say, hey, welcome to the video. If it's your first time here, smash that subscribe button. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that just because you're telling me to. I will do it if I enjoy your content and I feel like you're uploading regularly and being doing a good job. I'm not going to do it because you're just telling me to. That's just my reasoning on the matter why I don't save, subscribe, or like. I think I'm even pushing it doing the end screens, but I don't know. You guys let me know. A lot of experts say that it would attract more attention. I just disagree. I hard, wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. You know, because it just it annoys me when people do that. In fact, some people who did subscribe over the years said that they did so because I didn't tell them to subscribe. And they get annoyed as well when people tell them to do that. Alright, so let's go with the analytics finally. Alright, so everything is pretty much good at the moment. See, normally I get 4,500 to 6,500 views every month. This month we got, or the, for the past 28 days, we got 8,510 views. That's pretty good. Which is roughly 2,000 more than I usually get. Okay, that's good. Watch hours. 928.1, which is 456.4 more than usual. Again, that's great. It's almost double the amount. Oh, no, I should say, uh, if it's 800... Roughly route to 800, yeah, route to 400, yeah, we got, like, a third more. I don't know, I'm not good at math, alright, whatever. Either way, it's a good increase, I'm happy about that. Oh, we actually got 27 subs in the past 28 months, which is six more unusual, that's good. Yeah, more subs the better, am I right? <laughs> okay, and as, obviously revenue is empty, because I'm not monetized, I can't run ads at the moment. If I ever do reach monetization status, I want you guys to know that I will not spam ads in the videos. I've seen people like do a 60 minute video or stream with the 60 minutes and they put an ad block in every 5 minutes. That shows they're greedy as hell in my opinion and it disrupts the flow of the video, especially if ads keep popping up every 5 minutes, you know? <clears throat> so if I do ever reach that status, I will only probably run an ad at the beginning of the video and that's pretty much it. I know, like, some people say, like, you're not going to make any money doing that because you're not throwing enough ads there. Excuse me. You're probably going to make, like, pennies on the dollar. And my... <clears throat> Jesus Christ. My response is I really don't care. Would I say no to making money off my content? Absolutely not, because I could use money. I'm unemployed. I'm living at home. I'm not making any income at the moment. That being said, though, I'm not going to be a greedy bastard and just throw ads repeatedly in the video, because that's just unfair to people who support me, you know? Not to mention anyone else who watches me that's not currently subscribed, too. So yeah, probably just an ad at the beginning, and then that's it. Because yeah, I don't want to overwhelm anybody and make them feel unwelcome, because that's not my goal here. My goal is to entertain you people. <laughs> Alright. And views have pretty much been steady for a while now. As you can see, the past two days, I got 574 views alone. In the past, I used to average about 100, 200 videos each day. Now I'm averaging 574 for two days? That's pretty damn good. Which I am happy about. So it does show that people view my videos. Which brings me to another point. I've gotten criticism over the years. Over the entire three-year span I've been doing YouTube... I've gotten shit 
criticism for saying, oh, your thumbnails are too boring. I wouldn't click on that. They're too simple. Why should I click on that? Guys, in all seriousness, I cannot make better thumbnails, all right? I suck at graphic design. I suck at video editing. I suck at everything regarding technical stuff. So this is pretty much the best I could do. All right? I do think they're eye-catching enough, and the fact that I get hundreds of views every single day, well, that pretty much proves that people are clicking on them. People wouldn't click on them if they weren't attractive, right? So the fact that they are clicking on them makes me feel that they are acceptable enough. Are they extremely good? No, I'm clear to I'm very clear to admit that, that they're not extremely good. Are they clickbait? No, I refuse to do any sort of clickbait. I don't care how much fame it would bring me if I did clickbait, like doing a stupid Photoshop thumbnail with my face enlarged, doing an OMF, OMFG expression. Uh, that's not who I am. I'm not going to do that. Same thing with titles. People said, oh, your titles are so inter so bland and boring. Well, again, I disagree with that because I don't do quickbait titles. I mean, if, someone, if, if there's like an enemy that killed my friend in the game, I could say, you killed my friend. I'm going to kill you in all caps lock and with exclamation points. No, I'm not going to do that either. It's just stupid, in my opinion, to do titles like that. It really is. All right, so let's see if we go into some things here. Well, as you can see, anything that I'm currently uploading is the current series um, section on the channel right here. Right now, I'm doing five things at the moment because I've been getting tons of requests lately, which is fine. I try to do requests as best I can, unless it's something I'm really not interested in because uh, one person said not so much a request, but they requested that I should play Fortnite, and I really don't see that happening because I'm not a fan of Battle Royale or multiplayer in general. I might do the PvE modes of Fortnite, where you just... I, there is a PvE mode, I just learned that, by the way. Where you rescue survivors and build stuff and take on zombies, I believe, or something like to that effect. I might do that if you want, but I'm never going to do Battle Royale, ever. I just think the whole concept is stupid. If 100 people are playing, right, and each one of them is individual of the other, they're not on a team... Odds are literally 99 to 1 that you're going to be the victor. 99 to 1. I mean, I don't... Yeah, maybe it's like a, a draw to say that, oh, I could be that one if I'm just careful enough, but really, 99 to 1. 99 people are going to lose. One person is going to win. The odds are definitely not in your favor like in the, with the Hunger Games or something. <laughs> All right. It just really doesn't interest me. Multiplayer doesn't interest me in general either. I mean, yes, yeah, it's a nice innovation to play with people across the world and prove your worthfulness, but I just never was a fan of it. The very first multiplayer game I did, by the way, was Battlefield 2. I bought it on PC on disc because I didn't realize it was PC. Uh, it was a, um, a multiplayer-only game. Because a Game Informer gave a PC game month of the year. I figured, okay, that looks good. Let me buy it. Then after I installed it, I was like, oh shit, this is online only. There is a practice mode you could do in single player, but that there's no progression in that. So I made the best of it, I started playing it, and I was really put off by how rude people were being. There was no voice chat in that, or if there was voice chat, I wasn't using it. The insults and the tox the toxicity of the people that I was playing with, it's just terrible. I did not have a good time with that, and it really turned me off of doing multiplayer ever again. Even though I did the multiplayer of Destiny and Battlefield Hardline and a bit of uh, Battlefront 1 and 2, the new ones, not the old ones, but I just ne never got into it, really. I just never did. I did play some multiplayer on the channel with Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1. Again, the new ones. But I don't think it's something I'm really going to focus on, to be honest. Not to mention, I suck at multiplayer. I really do. The only way I progress in multiplayer is by following the objective. Assuming there is an objective, it's objective-based. If you're looking for me to get on a kill streak or anything like that, I'm not going to do it because I really suck at multiplayer. I'm not kidding. I'm not even ashamed to admit that. My main draw is mostly single player stuff, and I see a lot of other people on YouTube who do the same thing. They're not into multiplayer, they're into the single player stuff, and that's what I'm mostly going to stick with. No, which is fine. There's still plenty of single player stuff out there to play. You know, there's tons of it compared to the multiplayer stuff. You know? Alright, also, as you can see, all these videos, well, actually these three, first of all, they're all posted in full. 
Because you see there's 48 in The Last of Us Part 2. Let's click on that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I believe we're only posted up to Unfinished Business. As you can see, the other three videos in the series are already up there. They're ready to go, but they're not made public yet. Now, you're probably wondering, why don't you make them public? Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> Again, my damn throat. I just woke up. I pre-record everything. By the time I usually post a series, this whole game is usually done at that point, depending on the length, of course, but... I asked my sub, not so much asked them, but people said, like, why are your playlist private? Why are your videos private? Why don't you just post the whole thing? And I said in response that I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Because if I were to post everything that's ready to go, I'd have to upload a hundred things. I'm not kidding. I will go to that. In the, let's go to that right now, actually. Let's go to my drafts. Videos. Video. Filter. Visibility. Draft. Come on, draft. There we go. These are all things that haven't been posted yet. And as for the things at the top, yeah, they're not ready to go yet. But the other things... Excuse me. Not easy to do this when your computer's on to the right of you. See, all these other things that have titles and descriptions, they're all raring and ready to go. Mafia 3 is completely filmed, by the way. I'm done with that. I just gotta finish up the last few videos. Dead Space 3 is done. Entirely. That's ready to go. Well, it's Far Cry 1 I filmed. That's all ready to go as well. And that, by the way, was an exercise in frustration. Holy shit, was the gameplay not good in that. I got really pissed off during that Let's Play, and you're very well going to see it, for that matter. <laughs> as soon as I get around to posting it. Dead Space 2 is also done. I finished that a while back, actually, and that's ready to go. You see the thumbnails, description, titles, already. What else did I do recently? Or Far Cry? Yeah, I, I did sp start Spec Ops The Line. I'm only up to the third video at this point. I am liking it. I mean, I'm going to finish that, but what, that's not really the point of going for the drafts at the moment. Yeah, The Rising 4 is done as well. What else did I do as a draft? Last of Us, as I said. Oh yeah, I also filmed The Secret of Monkey Island. What do you mean? <sighs> Whatever. I, did, I filmed that back... When did I film that? Whenever I filmed it, it was, I think it was back in May... I've been waiting to post that forever, but I kept... That, then I, get, I started getting overwhelmed with requests. So I put it on the hole to upload. I also started Saints Row as like a shits for giggles thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually complete that or not. Because it's not blind. I already played through it. I never actually beat Saints Row. In fact, I don't think I beat Saints Row 2 either. But still. I also did Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. A PC game. Which is surprising. Because I usually don't do PC games. But this was relatively easy to do. Because it's a joystick rail shooter. That was four videos. That's done. And I also have a whole bunch of Skyrim videos I never even got around to posting. And Resident Evil 4 is still going, as you can see. And that's it. Okay, that's it. So back to my point. Why don't you just post everything as you upload, as it's done? Like, you finish a video, you upload it, and you finish a video, then you upload it. Well... Again, I don't want to overwhelm people. If I were to do that, you'd be seeing a lot more uploads more than I'm already doing. I, I usually limit my uploads to two or three a day. So if I were to do that, you'd be getting like four or five videos a day. And that's way too much in my opinion. In fact, I always talk this over with subscribers. They said, oh yeah, don't upload everything at once. Just limit your uploads a bit. Don't throw everything out at one day, you know? So that's why I've been limiting uploads. I mean, if you guys want me to upload more, I'm more than happy to upload more. You might not get a video every day, considering it, depending on how I do things. But we just have to wait and see. Because, again, I just showed you I have over 100 videos ready to go at any given moment. But I limit how much I make public simply because that's what you guys requested. All right. 
Again, just let me know if you want me to change my upload schedule. I have no problems changing it. In fact, it might even be better to do that, so as I'm playing a game and I upload each part as I do it, I can get hints and tips and guides and stuff from me, from everybody. That might make things a bit easier, I'm not sure. Especially with the RPGs, because I am playing The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. That's a pretty complex game, considering I've never played any of The Legend of Heroes games. So I have been getting some nice tips with that, so I don't know. Alright. Let's go back to analytics real quick. Go over everything here? No, I don't think so. And I think I should address the elephant in the room. Starting with Dead Rising 4 Part 3, I started attracting a lot of negative attention from somebody. I left the original comment up if you want to go to it and see it, but pretty much said that my garbage, uh, my, my garbage, my content was garbage. My videos were boring and that I am a terrible content creator. Damn my throat again. Okay, so normally I don't respond to these people, but I did respond to this person because they either they have multiple accounts or they have a bunch of assholes with him. Either way, they put the most dislikes I've ever seen on any video I've ever had, which is like 10 or 11 on this video right here. Which is surprising because I'm not used to getting dislikes like that, first of all, and the person said it came from Reddit. I do browse Reddit here and there, but I never self-advertised once, so I have no idea what made them come to my channel for any reason, if they even came from Reddit at all. Right? And then the same thing happened with Resident Evil 4, the... Come on. Yeah, the end of Solid. This also got about 10, 11 dislikes. Since then, it's went up a bit, but it's not a big deal getting dislikes. I mean, not everyone's going to like my calm, laid-back style. I understand that. But for someone to just di go on a dislike spree just for the sake of doing it because they're not satisfied with me, it's just stupid, you know? It really is stupid. Not to mention, I don't even think it really boils down to my content at all. Well, I told the person... I directly told them, okay, here's the link to the number one most popular Let's Play of Dead Rising 4. I actually watched it. It's from the Rad Brad. I watched this entire video of him covering the same spot of going through the medieval village section and then going outside. There's virtually no difference between our commentary. I mean, yes, he does not show his face, and yes, he's a bit more enthusiastic than I am, but the overall tone of the commentary is the exact same. He talks about what's going on screen, basic stuff, and that's pretty much it, just like I was doing. So why does that video have so many more likes and views, and then he's giving me shit over my video, which is pretty much the exact same thing? I even told him, just watch it, and you'll see it. And you know what he did? He said, oh, you're just comparing yourself to another big YouTuber who clearly deserves the attention while you don't. Okay, that proves you didn't even watch the video, first of all, because if you did watch the video, you know that I'm right and you're wrong, first of all. Again, I'm not going to play the video because that might give me some copyright trouble. Let me see if I can just bring it up real quick. YouTube. What did I see? Dead Rising 4. Let's play. See, as you can see, the Rad Brad is the number one top trending result. He has 11.9 million subscribers. That's pretty damn impressive. Yeah, his video... Where do we, it's one of these. One of the... I think it, maybe this one or this one. Should I bring it up? I'm, I don't want to get into any copyright trouble. That's the problem. But as you can see, the, this playlist, not the video itself, but the playlist has over 3 million views. And again, his commentary is pretty much the same as mine. Yes, I get he's a huge YouTuber, so his subscriber base will watch it. They'll increase the views and watch time. They'll increase the exposure it gets. But in terms of overall quality, though, if you were to run them side by side, I don't really see that much of a difference. So I don't understand why he's saying that he deserves the attention and I clearly don't, and mine's just garbage. I try not to give these people attention too much, because I know they're just assholes or, or trolling. But it's just annoying, you know? I don't know what, what I did to deserve that. In fact, I didn't do anything to deserve that, as a matter of fact. And even worse, they started going after people who commented in support of me. They went to their channels and started disliking shit on their... 
on their videos, which is very disgusting. You have a problem with me, leave it with me. Don't bring my supporters into this. That's just barbaric and just awful. Alright? It's pretty hitting below the belt, if you ask me. Alright, enough about that person. Let's move on to Reach. Impressions. See, impressions are pretty damn good. In case you don't know, an impression is when... It's like a, fi a video of mine suggested to somebody. You're showing up in the recommended feed or on the homepage. It will show like the video, the thumbnail, the title, the length, and part of the description. So far, for the past 12 months... I mean, not the 12 months, 28 days, excuse me. My videos were shown 121,849 times to different people. That's pretty damn high. Especially considering I have just a little over 2,000 videos. I would say that's pretty damn good, right? And it's up 12% from the past 28 days, too. Now, I'm pushing this through click-through rate. This is the rate at which someone saw the video and they actually borrowed the click on it. Normally, from what I've read, you want a click-through rate of 5 or above. Sadly, mine is only 3.1, as you can tell, but that's the highest it's ever been. Normally, it only averages around the 2 range, 2% 2 range. The fact that we actually got to 3.1 is a 19% increase from what it used to be the past month, and that's pretty good, again. All increases are better, for the most part. And views, as you said, 34% up. And unique viewers, I'm not too sure what that means exactly. Can I get it? has been... That's the number of people that watch your content in the selected date range. So yeah, so yeah, 2,000 different people watch my content the past 28 days. Again, that's showing diversity. I really like that. Again, traffic source. I imagine the playlists are the most thing because I do put lovely descriptions in the playlist. Maybe that attracts more attention. Maybe it doesn't. I really don't know. YouTube search is next. Playlist is next. Playlist page is next. Excuse me. So yeah, this is my traffic, as you can see. 8.9% from YouTube rec recommended content. I don't know if that's a good percentage or not for, for the impressions. Whatever it is, it is. And from those impressions alone, 3,786 3, came from the impressions. Which again shows that people see my content, they're interested, they view it. Right? Because if they weren't interested because of bad thumbnail, bad title, they would just ignore it, right? That's just the way I look at it. And the view duration is the highest it's ever been. Normally it's been hovering in the 4 minute range for a very long time. Now it's in the 6.5 minute range. That's excellent. That's a huge increase from what I'm used to. And also the watch time for impression is pretty not bad either. 409, that's almost like half the amount. Alright, as far as external sources, I guess a lot of people search me through Google, which um, I never actually f searched videos f through Google, but I guess people do, because 58% of the traffic came from there. According to this, Grand Theft Auto 4 is, is, a nice, is my highest ranking traffic source playlist, which again, I have a lot of fun doing GTA 4, it's just that I, I really wish they put checkpoints in the goddamn missions. <laughs> Seriously, they did that for 5 and the DLC for 4. So why couldn't they do that for the campaign for four? Doesn't really make much sense. Okay, and uh, this is pretty much standard, like the stuff that's most suggested to people. And I'm not even sure what traffic source means, but apparently people are searching my name more than anything else, because it's 13.8. I don't know why Neil Druckmann would be associated with me, because I have no association with him, but whatever. Our engagement. Yeah, as we went over, watch time is 102% higher. View duration is 50% higher. That's very good. Yeah, top videos. Legend of Heroes Trails of Code Steel Part 1 is doing the best at the moment. 21.53 hours of watch time past month. That's pretty good. Especially considering it's a new upload. Most of my new uploads don't get, like, huge attention. It seems... It seems that most of my old uploads seem to get a lot of attention. Whatever it is, as long as they get attention, I don't care, to be honest. Alright. Oh, Dead Rising 3 is the top playlist, apparently. A little bit more in The Last of Us 2. Alright. Audience. Okay, so apparently, according to this, the average viewer views about four things. Is that what? Four videos? Oh. 
I don't know if that's a good ratio or not. I never actually bothered to look up, but that's still something, right? Also, what else? According to the stats, let me just go up a bit here. Excuse me. And most of my viewers are like pretty much active between my time, tw um, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., which makes sense because that's when usually people are up for the most part. Granted, I don't know where you live in the world, but I'm going to try make sure I do my uploads first thing in the morning, which I have been doing. And then go f finish the day, then repeat the next day, you know, just upload stuff in the morning. And that seems to be working out pretty well. Of yeah. top country is the United States, because that's where I live, United States. Apparently some other people from Germany and Canada are watching me too. Alright, maybe you moved there from the United States or something. Not really my business, not a big deal. Okay, watch time from subscribers. 19.6 of the watch time comes from people who are subbed, 78.5 comes from people who are not subbed. Which makes sense, because I'm always told that most of your watch time will come from people who are not subbed. Which is fine, you know, like most people don't sub to other people, it's fine. I mean, as long as I get watch time in some degree, I'm happy with that. And the ma male to female ratio, males is pretty high. Again, not, I'm not picky at all. Because female gaming has really increased in the past decade or so. Because back in the 70s, 80s, it was not very popular thing with girls. But from what I've read, girls make now up 50%, upwards of 50% of the gaming population, which is nice. Shows a little more diversity, like I said. And obviously revenue is zero, because I'm not making any money. <laughs> Which is, okay, alright. One more thing I want to go over, I'm not sure how long I'm recording, but either way. Let's go back to the channel. Alright, I just want to go over the final few sections that I have here. Series on the whole, these are things that I have been playing, but stopped playing for whatever reason. Now, to go over them individually, excuse me. No, Cuphead was supposed to get a DLC called The Last Course, or something to that effect. It was supposed to come out in 2019, then they postponed it to early 2020, and then we haven't heard Jack all since. I assume it's still coming. Studio HDMR, HDMR, whatever the hell their name is. They've been very tight lipped on the subject. They did bring Cuphead to PS4 and Nintendo Switch, which is weird, because they said it would never come to PS4, but whatever. So I'm waiting on the DLC for Cuphead, that's why it's in this section. Destiny 2 is obvious, because they release contests periodically throughout the year. This one is Beyond Light, I believe it's due in October. So I'll cover that whenever I, I get around to it. And State of Decay 2 is here, because I'm not sure if they're going to release any more story-based content for it. It's there as a precaution, you know, because if they do release more story-based stuff, I will cover it. Otherwise, I'm not, because I tried doing the base game of State of Decay 2 a while back as a Let's Play. It's just not fun to watch. All you do is pretty much drive, you go there, you get supplies, you drive back, you get more supplies, you drive back. It's just trivial to watch, because it's not even fun to watch, because it's just the same thing over and over and over. Meanwhile, the Heartland DLC actually had some plot behind it, which is why I covered it. Now the big one, Skyrim. I did play Skyrim, start Skyrim anyway, with the intention of completing it as best I can. Problem was, I just, I just got wrapped up in so many other things, I just lost track of it. Now, as you saw before, there are parts that are unpublished, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to it at all at this point. Not that I don't like it, I really like Skyrim. In fact, I was in love with it during the time I was playing it. Problem is, it's going to take forever to get through it. If I were to cover... Just the, not even just the main quest, but all the side quests and all the DLC without looking anything up. It's going to take me, like, hundreds of videos. I mean, so far nobody has really requested my continue Skyrim, so I'm just leaving it on hold for now. If you guys want me to spend more time on it, just let me know and I'll consider it. But right now, it's staying on hold. Because I'm so busy with so many other things that people have requested. Whereas nobody has requested I continue Skyrim, so I figure people don't want to see it right now. And I'm pretty sure you're aware of this at this point, but everything I have completed in full that I'm not completed again, unless they release something new to it or whatever, is in the completed series section. So if you want to see everything I've done, 
I'm pretty sure you're aware of this, but either way, just click on completed series and you'll see everything I've done in relative alphabetical order. Yes, I do plan on doing Chrono Trigger again because I wasn't happy with the results. My commentary is pretty lackluster during that, and plus I'm wearing the fucking glasses where I'm fidgeting with them constantly. I'm going to do Chrono Trigger again, and I am going to do the Steam version, which is the special edition. I just haven't had time to put it in my schedule yet. I also plan on doing Digimon Story CyberSoup and Hacker's Memory again at some point. I do realize it'll take a huge chunk of time to do them, just look how long the videos are. In fact, I did buy the complete edition on Switch, which includes both games and the DLC. Now, I heard... I imagine some of you are saying, Oh, you shouldn't do those games again. You already covered them. It'd be a waste of time. Well, here's the thing. I am going to cover them again when I have time. It's not going to interfere with any new uploads, I assure you of that. And I'm going to cut out all the fluff. Dungeon crawling and random battles. I'm going to cut all that shit out. And anything that's really unnecessary, I will do off camera. And it should hasten the length of the, um, the completion of the Let's Play, you know? So, no fluff. There's going to be no fluff when I do the complete edition. I promise you that. And it's not going to interfere with any new uploads either. Because as you saw, I have over 100 things ready to go anyway. So, yeah. Everything I've done is in the completed series section. And you can see there's a fuck ton of stuff here. And just to let the record show, I did try doing our stuff in my thumbnails. Like for Mafia 1, the original Mafia, I tried doing something different. The template with some different stuff in it. I mean, I don't, again, 529 views, that's pretty much standard. It didn't really do much better, right? And then my big sister, which is a very bizarre game, I didn't understand it one bit, I did something unique as well. It's a template with different stuff in it. As you can see, I put some weird alien there. And The Great Escape, I put Escape in the thumbnail. And another thing I did was completely custom images entirely. Let's go back up here. Banjo-Tooie was a mixture of stuff like that. As you can see, this is not a screenshot. This is a completely custom-made image I did with PNG and background and borders. Overall, it didn't perform much better than the standard thumbnail design. That's why I don't make these kind of thumbnails anymore. I mean, if you really think that doing these kind of special thumbnails will give me an edge, let me know. I'll consider doing them again. But right now, the stats prove that they don't do better than the other stuff I do. The standard screenshot with the logo, you know? I do also plan on doing Bioshock Trilogy at some point, because again, I'm not happy with the quality. But that's going to come much later, though, because I'm very swamped with requests, like I said. And the new consoles are coming out this season. Which I was going to talk about as well, considering I don't know if I'm going to get my hands on one on launch day. Because as you fully well aware at this point, every time there's a new console, there's a shortage. It's just a fact of life. So yeah, the PS5 is already sold out as a matter of fact. I'm very mad Sony the way they handled the pre-orders. They just conclude the screen, the, the screen, the stream, and then suddenly the pre-orders went live without any warning. Which they said they, it wouldn't it wouldn't be like that, but it did. Right? I didn't have a chance to pre-order a copy before all the things went out. And supposedly the Xbox One X is going on pre-order tomorrow. I imagine this could be the same thing. I'm not going to get my hands on a pre-order. Obviously, as a Let's Player and a Devout Gamer in general, I am going to get both systems so I don't miss out on any exclusives. As a matter of fact, Microsoft just purchased Bethesda today. Which is really surprising because Bethesda, even though they've been pretty lackluster with Fallout 76, they're still a pretty damn big company. They're bought for $7.5 billion. So that might mean all future Bethesda games are going to be Xbox exclusives and PC exclusives because they own PC, but damn. That's going to really cause a monkey rush in Sony's plans. Because I imagine before this, Sony was planning on getting the Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield, whenever, whenever those games come out, you know? So again, I covered a shit ton of different games already. So yeah, feel free to browse any of these things if you're interested, because they're all here. <laughs> Alright? Again, I'm not sure how long I've been recording, but goddamn, my mouth is tired. Anyway, that's pretty much what I had to say on the matter. I don't think I have anything else to cover at the moment. So, yeah. I'm at my highest subscriber count, because... Going into 2020, I was in the 250 range. Now I'm in the 230, 430 range, excuse me. I mean, it's, that's a huge increase, and I'm very thankful that you got everyone subscribed that did. You... No, there's something I could do better 
in terms of quality or anything, just let me know. I, 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 I read every comment, by the way, guys. I might not respond to every comment, depending on what the context is. Like, if someone's just saying, oh, thank you for that, I mean, like, I might not respond, because it's, it's not really necessary. Obviously, spam, pornographic links, I just delete. Also, insults, I generally delete and don't respond to. Otherwise, yeah, I do read every comment, so feel free to comment whenever you feel like it. Why am I burping? This is even caffeinated, um, carbonated. Ugh. So yeah, thank you for the support throughout the three years. I hope you continue to support me, because I am not stopping. A lot of people said, oh, you should just quit because you're not getting anywhere. I'm not quitting. If I were to quit right now, that'd be a huge disservice to everyone who supported me over the three years. I'm not doing that. Even though I haven't made a single cent from all this work I've done, as you can see through the list of stuff I've done over the years, it doesn't matter. I do hope to make something better with the channel at some point, and the only way I could do that is if I keep going, right? I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. I'm going to keep working hard, and I hope you guys, like I said, continue to support me. Because the only way I could grow is if I get support. It doesn't matter how many things I do or how well I do them. They have to be watched, they have to be viewed, and pe if people subscribe and watch and view, that makes it even better, you know? Because the more you watch, the more you view, the more it expands to other people. It gets more exposure, and then they subscribe. It's like a domino effect, you know? Alright, is there anything else I have to cover? I think that's it. Yeah, I think I went over everything. I've been talking for, what, 30 minutes now or something? I'm not even sure. But anyway... Alright, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this wasn't too drawn out or boring for you to sit through. And stay tuned for more games. That's all I have to say on the matter, okay? Thank you. See you soon in the gaming video. Uh, yeah, see you soon in the gaming video. Bye for now.